Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. In this video, we're going to be showing you another example of how Pixelmator Pro can be supercharged with Photomator, and that is by improving its AI masking. So let's get right into it. Let's demonstrate the concept here with this image. Let's say I want to improve the contrast of this dull sky. How would I do that with Pixelmator Pro? One way is to use the selection tool. Press Q on the keyboard and brush away. Unfortunately, this tree and structure obscures the view of the sky. And to get a proper sky selection, you have to take into account the gaps between the branches, leaves, and in the structure. A Herculean task that requires a lot of effort. Thankfully, if we have Photomator, we don't have to do manual brushing. You can use Photomator Smarts to help you out. To do this, navigate to Photomator. Click Select Sky. And that's it. As you can see, with just one click, Photomator performed superbly, masking not just the main sky, but also the little holes and gaps that are such a pain to deal with the brush. Next, click Done. Click Modify the image. Right click on the image and click Edit with Pixelmator Pro. As you can see, Pixelmator Pro is opened with the adjustment layer and mask. Let's now enhance the contrast of the sky with a contrast blend mode. If you don't know what a contrast blend mode is, I recommend you watch my contrast and color blend mode videos. I'll leave a link in the description. If you watch those videos, you would know that to perform a contrast blend mode, you need to duplicate the layer. And since I want the sky to really pop, I'll choose hard light for my blend mode. There, as you can see, the sky now looks really dramatic. But the foreground was also affected. Not what we want. No matter, let's drag the mask into the blend mode layer. And boom, now the foreground is excluded from the effect. As always, you can adjust the opacity to temper the result. Here is the before and the after. Let's have another example. Once again, I would want to lower the brightness of just the sky. And once again, performing a selection would be extremely tedious given the structure on the background, which I want to exclude from the adjustment. Again, let's turn to Photometer to make our life easier. Click Select Sky. Again, the sky is selected. And once again, Pixelmator Pro did a very good job avoiding the contraption in the horizon. This time though, there are errors. How do you deal with this? If errors occur, I recommend dealing with them not in Photomator, as you would think, but in Pixelmator Pro. I'll explain why in a moment. Let's go to Pixelmator Pro. Click Done. Click Modify. Right click and choose Edit with Pixelmator Pro. Once again, the adjustment layer with mask appears. This time, let's apply a multiply blend mode to reduce the brightness of the sky. There, now you can see a very good looking sky, but once again, it has that overly dark foreground. Again, let's drag the mask into the blend layer. Now, since the mask has errors, how do we fix it? In Pixelmator Pro, we do that by refining the mask. Right click on the mask, click Refine Mask. As you can see, the mask appears in a red overlay. Notice as well that the Refine Mask panel is open. Let's use the basic brush to remove some of the outlying masking errors.
okay, that's done. However, as you can see, there are still some errors and to correct them requires a brush with selection precision. And that brings us to the reason why I recommend using Pixelmator Pro for correcting masking errors in Photometer. Pixelmator Pro has a quick selection brush with excellent edge detection, while Photometer does not. Let's use that. There, the mask is looking really good. Click Apply. Here is the before and the after. So that is how you can get better Pixelmator Pro masks by using Photometer. As you can see, Photometer is an indispensable tool for Pixelmator Pro and vice versa. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know any other tips you might have for creating better masks with Pixelmator Pro. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.